Hi guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time on this channel, my name is Vanessa. I make natural hair videos, fitness and sometimes motherhood. So if you're interested in this kind of content, be sure to stick around by clicking that subscribe button and become a member of the family. And to all of my new subscribers, I don't even know what to say guys. I'm so blown away. You know, we are at over 1000 subscribers. I could have never imagined that amount of growth in the space of a week. So thank Thank you so much you really mean so much to me so uh, yeah i'm so grateful and to all of my returning subscribers thank you so much as well like i'm so grateful for supporting me i mean for all the support that you've given me all along and yeah i wouldn't really have any other way of putting it so thank you so much so in today's video guys i'm going to show you how to make another amazing leave-in conditioner that if you apply to your hair on a regular basis you will definitely see that hair growing uh, really fast so if you're interested be sure to stick around so what we're going to need is aloe vera so cut your aloe vera into smaller pieces and then wash it and essentially you're ready to start getting the gel out so cut it in the middle and um, you know scrape the uh, use a spoon and a bowl just to scrape the gel out of it that's what we're going to need to make the aloe vera juice which we're going to need for you know this whole conditioner so yeah i got quite a lot of questions about my last uh, leave-in conditioner using aloe vera some people were wondering how to store it so just like you saw at the beginning of the video I usually just put cling film on the part that I cut and I put in the fridge and it stores quite well and yeah I've had my aloe vera for about two weeks now and it's still been in really good condition um, so yeah store it that way and I'm pretty sure that yours can also last that long um, so yeah pretty much what you need to do is like you're seeing here just use a, a spoon and scrape all of the gel out of it and also scrape the skin just to, so you can get all of the juice out So once you've done that you just want to dispose of the skin or you can keep it to use another time maybe it's for something else um so i'm now going to go ahead and blend the uh, gel uh, just so it's a nice smooth consistency but even if you don't end up with a nice smooth consistency it's not going to be so much of a problem so don't worry i'm using a hand blender but you can use any other blender that you've got available in your kitchen um, to do this i was just checking for lumps there but at the end of the day it's not really that important um but obviously you just want to make sure that it's all blended just so you can get all, all of your juice out of it so that's pretty much what you're going to end up with it's going to be a bit foamy but don't worry about it as you let it sit for a few minutes the foam actually disappears so yeah don't worry if you want you can remove the foam some people don't like it but i didn't really mind it now we're going to be adding some fenugreek fenugreek seed um so fenugreek seed is actually amazing at uh growing your hair it has actually been shown that it's high in protein and also uh, it's got some nicotinic acid content in it which are known to be beneficial against hair fall and downdraft and also treating a variety of you know scalp issues like dryness of hair baldness or hair thinning so fenugreek seed is amazing and if you use it on a regular basis you will definitely see that hair growing so i'm adding some msm powder as well msm i mean the research around msm is not that clear it's not conclusive but some people are saying that it does help in, you know in promoting high growth um so i just find myself kind of using it also over uh, the past few months and i can clearly say that there, there is a little bit of a difference and end of the day even a small growth is still growth so i'll suggest you do give it a go um so i just mix that all all in together and then added a bit of olive oil and just mix it all in pretty much until the whole thing is combined now if you're wondering where i got my uh fenugreek seed and msm powder from i got it from whole foods um they are online as well but i'm sure you can get it from amazon ebay like any other um you know health store you can probably find them i mean the fenugreek so you can find them in a food store like an indian store and things like that um so once i've done that i'm just putting a clean film over it and i'm gonna let it sit uh and infuse for 24 hours 
Um, so you can actually let it sit over your counter in the kitchen or you can put it in the fridge It's entirely up to you. Um, so Yeah, this is basically basically 24 hours later. You can see basically what it looks like So this fenugreek seed has actually kind of doubled in size and that's how you know that it has infused now I had actually made one of this before I just I didn't record it for you guys but I'm trying to show you basically what this seed looks like uh, when it's properly infused so you can see it's much bigger than the seed that we had at the beginning now um, this one I left it for about 24 hours but I don't think it sort of you know the seeds are as big as the one that I made before but if you want you can leave it for longer the longer you leave it the more infused it gets pretty much so now you're going to sieve that so you place your tea towel again and pour the mixture on it and then you just want to squeeze all of the juice out of it so uh, essentially you are just draining it so that you can you know use the juice without having any residue in it So this is what the mixture looks like so you end up with slightly brown kind of you know liquid and yeah that's basically the fenugreek seed you know mixed with the aloe vera and the smell of it is kind of like a strong honey smell um, so if you love honey you will definitely love this because the smell is yeah it's very very strong like a, a very strong honey flavor and uh, yeah I just put it back in my bottle um, my spray bottle and I'm pretty much ready to use if you notice the one that I had already in the bottle before I applied the new one was slightly darker than this one uh, it's because I left that one for a bit longer but for the purpose of this video I just couldn't wait but if you can do wait a bit longer uh, it will inf get infused a little bit more so this is basically what uh, the residue looks like don't throw this away guys you are going to need it so what I'm doing I'm just putting it in a plastic bag uh, and then I'm gonna store it in the fridge and when I'm ready to wash my hair I'm going to use this as uh, a deep conditioning mask so don't throw your fenugreek seeds away guys it still has an amazing um, you know it's still it's still going to be uh, useful for you in the future so if you've got a fridge just pop it in there and when you're ready to use it you can take it out and then yeah just blend it and use it i might do a video on basically how to use it as um what's it called as a dip conditioning mask so stay tuned for that so essentially this is what the mixture looks like you're ready to apply it and that's sort of yeah that's pretty much it um so I'm going to show you now how I apply that on my hair. My hair has been washed, conditioned. Um, I think it's probably just like a midweek kind of moisturizing routine here, guys. Um, but you can actually use this directly after you have washed your hair and you want to seal in the moisture in your hair and style, you know. Um, but I have, uh, what's it called? I have a twist out and I don't want to kind of you know mess my trista out but i want it moisturized so basically i'm not going to detangle or anything like that i'm just gonna undo the big twist that i have and just uh, spray my hair with you know the mixture make sure that i massage it quite nicely into my scalp now scalp massaging is just amazing at hair growth guys because it increases the blood flow to your scalp then you know nourishing your follicles and promoting that hair to grow so doing regular scalp massage is actually great if you're trying to promote hair growth so i'm just massaging that in
okay guys so i'm just focusing on my edges here because i'm still trying to regrow them i had a baby quite recently and i suffered from really bad postnatal shedding which took away my edges so i'm still trying to regrow them i haven't been really consistent with what i'm doing but i'm telling myself that i have to be consistent so i can see the results that i want so um yeah i'm just massaging that in and also making sure that my end my ends are well covered because that's usually the driest part of your hair so i'm using here my aloe vera and avocado oil just to seal in the moisture don't worry guys i've made a video on how to make this oil so i've got you um so yeah so i'm just applying that in just to seal in the moisture and yeah i'm now gonna go ahead and just twist that part and move on to the next So you just want to keep doing that for the rest of your hair and focus on those areas that are perhaps problematic if you do have any you know for me it currently is my edges so i'm really trying to regrow them uh because like i said i did lose them through postnatal shedding so yeah i will usually just focus a bit more on that area and also don't forget your ends you know give them a bit more love because they are the oldest part of your hair and they usually tend to be the driest part as well so make sure that you have enough conditioner in that area and just massage it in nicely get a nice oil if you don't have aloe vera and avocado oil you know you can use any other oil like olive oil coconut oil uh, argan oil like there's so many different oils that you can use so make sure that you seal in your um the moisture in your hair using any type of oil it doesn't need to be this one so i'm just going to do that for the rest of my hair just make sure that i massage it in quite nicely just so i can you know feed my follicles with all of this goodness and then i'm going to go ahead and twist that section and then move on to the next um like you can see me here i'm not detangling my hair guys but that's because like i said i have a twist out and i don't want to mess my curls um but if your hair does need detangling make sure that you know after you've applied your leave-in that you go ahead and sorry the leave-in and the oil you go ahead and detangle before you twist it so yeah if you if your hair happens to be in the same situation as mine then yeah just follow what i'm doing so i'm going to let you guys watch uh the rest of the video without necessarily me interrupting i'll try my best to put a nice music here <clears throat> that you guys can enjoy and i will catch you right at the end of the video
so I was completely done here guys and I was working on my last section I did use all of the conditioner that I made but if you end up having some leftover just pop it in the fridge and it will store there for you quite well for about a week um, but you can just make exactly what you need just like I did here and I'm just going in with the rest of my oil on my edges and the rest of my hair just massaging my scalp again uh, but you can skip this process if you don't want so uh, yeah my hair ended up really nice and moisturized shiny just like you can see here this is pretty much it for me today guys and I do hope that you've enjoyed watching this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and most importantly subscribe to the channel guys for more hair related videos and some you know nice content i've got coming up and i'll catch you in my next one bye